What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified, notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, cups through, caps through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the search box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you feel guided to donate, okay? Um, this is not lingerie, just let everybody know. This is a kimono. I got it at a yard sale for two bucks. They have them in Walmart right now for 20 some bucks. It is a kimono, not lingerie, just a little FYI. Okay, so I received another channeling. They're just flowing in tonight, so I'm just rolling with it. So the channel message I received was um, someone has an orange aura about them. For some, um, you're about to realize this in a huge way. It is about to explode in a very positive way. It is about to benefit this person in a huge way. So you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Now, I am mildly familiar with auras. I'm not claiming to be an aura master by any stretch of the imagination, by any means. So I looked it up. Um, like I said, I'm vaguely familiar with auras. I am not familiar with the orange aura. So we're going to all learn together, okay? Um, okay, so orange aura meaning via, via Google definition. Overall, an orange aura represents creativity and intense energy. Orange is, is associated with the sacral chakra. So sacral chakra, boom, boom, boom. Associated, it's one of the chakras on the body of the seven chakras. Associated with the emotional body and sensuality. If you're seeing orange in your aura, it's a good indication that your sacral chakra is unblocked and in flow. So um, that's beautiful. So somebody's sacral chakra is, uh, um, sacral chakra, hold on. Yeah, the sacral chakra is um, unblocked in, in, in flow. So sacral chakra, we know what the sacral chakra is. Sexual sacral chakra. It's not just about sex with the sacral chakra, but sensuality, sexuality, sex drive, that is a huge part of um, the sacral chakra. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. Uh, but also is, um, also creativity is too. Creativity and sexual drive and um passion and emotions in a positive way if it's unblocked whoever this person's um orange aura is about them their sexual chakra is unblocked so i mean i'm thinking um sex drive is going to be at an all-time high or it's about to be i mean it already is or it's about to be their creativity is about to experience a huge burst according to the spiritual downloads um and like i said there's sex drive may, may increase or already has increased or um i think they're extremely sensitive at this time but in a very positive way i think they're sensitive with the universe in a positive way and i heard it's about to benefit them in a huge way so i think with the creativity and if they're in a relationship or um married they're might they're probably um, they're probably gonna have freaking a amazing sex just saying just saying Whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. Um, this is beautiful freaking energy, man. Um, beautiful. I mean, now if they're not in a stable, grounded, healthy relationship, that really, and the sacral chakra is unblocked, that can go in a very negative sense. Um, and I'm just being serious. Like, meaning they might start impregnating about 50 million people up in the universe or, um, <sighs> or get an STD or something. Um, but if they're in a healthy, copacetic relationship and their sacral chakra is unblocked because their sex drive is about to go out the wazoo or already has one out the wazoo in a positive way, they're about to have some freaking A amazing sex. Congrats to whoever that's for. I can't wait till I have freaking A amazing sex with a stable, grounded, reliable, dependable partner. Just saying. Um, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want that? Everybody. And that's just the truth, you know? So I'm not going to lie and say that I don't want that for myself because I absolutely do, but I ain't going to choose no freaking a um, psychotic dimwad out there either. You know what I'm saying? So 
But congrats whoever this is for. Um, hopefully you manifest this orange aura and your sacral chakra on being unblocked in a very positive way. You're I think you're about to have a huge ass creative burst, or you just have. Or um, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. I think your sex drives already went up or it's about to go up. I think you're about to have some freaking A amazing sex. Already or already is having freaking A amazing sex. I mean, dude, this is fantastical. Just saying, just saying, whoever you are. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull, I feel guided to pull one of these. And I feel guided to pull an animal spirit too for some reason. And then um, see if I get any more messages. This is wonderful, man. I mean, of course, if you manifest it in a positive way, you know, of course, if you manifest it in a positive way, now, if you're out there sleeping with daddy do or brother do or cousin do, I don't think that's manifesting it in a positive way. I'm only saying that because of the last reading. Um, but if you manifest it in a positive way, I think it's going to go wonderful. Just saying. Spirit messages you have for the question. Whoa. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. One of you guys might be emotional over a person, people, place, or situation, or somebody might be emotional over you, or you might be dealing with someone with addictions, or whoever this is for, I don't think you have addictions. And I'm just being real. I don't think you do. Um, I don't. I think you've closed your chakras, because all your chakras, uh, well, I don't know if all your chakras are open, but definitely your sacral is. But usually, yeah, I think that I feel, this is a very high vibrational person, very. All chakras are open and activated. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, I was feeling it. Okay, I was feeling it. Okay, so I heard you're a very high vibrational person. All your chakras are open and activated, baby. So all seven, you're charged. You're like the Energizer Bunny, baby. You're ready to go. That's wonderful, whoever you are. So I think somebody's emotional over you. Or you might be emotional over a situation, but I don't think you have addictions. So you might be dealing with somebody with addictions, but I don't think it's you. Whoa, man. Like the damn Energizer Bunny. Just saying, just saying. In a positive way. I might add, sir, ma'am. Spirit messages you have to like it. Elk. Okay. So we have turtle and elk. And let's pull one of these. So for some, you could, we have double earth sign energy. So for some, you could be an earth sign because uh, we have double earth sign energy. So I feel for some of you guys, you strongly are an earth sign. If this particular um, message or messages apply for you, um, or you have earth in your chart. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. You have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so many of your chart. If that resonates for you, possibly. Spirit messages you have for this is so freaking a fantastical. Sanctuary. Okay. In confirmation from Fat Boy. Okay, so number 26 could be a very significant number in your life, possibly. Number 26, it could be a possible age of viewers, my you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible brain card number, possible jersey number, um, etc., 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 number 26. We have turtle and elk. Things were very slow manifesting for you in the past, very slow. For, so, for some, you had a curse on you. For some, a hex. For some, a curse and a hex. For some, your name has been put back in a jar, but the person that put your name in a jar, they're about to seriously regret it. Seriously, seriously, seriously regret it. There's about to be a very strange accident with this jar, and it's going to end up hurting several people. They're going to regret it. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, Lord. 
So if this resonates for you, I heard um, for some you had a curse on you, for some you had a hex, for some you had a curse and a hex, for some your name was in a jar. And if anybody's been, uh, I know a lot of you guys have been following my channel for a hot minute, but if you're new to the channel, I've done readings on names in a jar. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google name in a jar. Um, it is a dark arts, always a dark arts tactic, period, point blank, bar none. It's always a dark arts tactic. You never have somebody's name in a jar in a positive manifestory way, period, point blank, bar none. And that's just the truth. Um, so you either had a curse on you, a hex on you, a curse or a hex on you. For some, you had a name in a jar. For some, you got a name, uh, somebody's got your name in a jar right now. But the person that has your name in a jar right now, I heard they're about to seriously regret it because something strange is about to happen to the jar. And I heard several people are about to get hurt. So not just one person's about to get hurt. Sounds like this jar, something's going to happen to the jar. I didn't hear specifically what the hell is going to happen to the jar. But it's some, I think the jar is going to break is what I think. Because I heard several people's going to get hurt um, by the jar. Um, so I think the jar is going to break. Um, I didn't. You know, I did a reading, it was a few months ago, when a jar was about to burst, and somebody, a shard of glass, boom, was about to hit somebody in a damn eye, and cause an eye injury. So, and I didn't hear any of that in here this time, but <clears throat> it makes me think, I mean, several people are about to get hurt. It's not just one person about to get hurt this time. Several people. So, something crazy is going to happen to the jar, something weird, unexpected is going to happen to the jar, it's going to end up injuring several people, whatever that is. So... If you're wondering why your manifestation was going slow, um, somebody had a curse on you, a hex on you, a curse or a hex on you, or had your name in a jar, or currently has your name in a jar. But if, for the ones that have the, uh, where your name's currently in the jar, it sounds like you're about to be broke free, man, because um, it's something's about to happen to the jar, and several people are about to get injured, it sounds like. Things are about to speed up. A lot of earth signs were slowing you down in the past for some. For some air signs. For some fire signs. Oh, Lord. Uh, I've heard, heard things are about to slow up in a huge, uh, speed up in a huge way for you. So you could be an earth sign or any, any sign, but things are about to uh, speed up for you. For some, it was earth signs slowing you down, and it sounds like a hell of a lot of them. For some air signs and a hell of a lot of them. For some fire signs and a hell of a lot of them. So, uh, everybody but water in here for this one, but you plug it in how it resonates. Now, I'm sure there was probably some negative water energy in your life, possibly for some, but it sounds like predominantly earth, um, air, and, um, earth, air, and, uh, fire. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, Choice, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you plug it in how it resonates. So, this is your, I feel this is your manifestation being slow in the past. Um, it could have been positive connections, love, money, um, business, et cetera, et cetera. But it's about to start speeding up. It's going to be turtle reversed, speeding up because our things are about to start going fast. So it's right now in energetic space, it's turtle upright, but soon it's going to be turtle reversed, speeding up, baby, like the hair. You plug it in, how it resonates. L. You are about to be a huge leader to many people. Many, 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 many people. A very positive leader. And you're going to wear the hat very well. Wow, this is beautiful, man. I heard you're about to be a huge leader. Very positive, huge leader to many, 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 many people soon. And you're about to wear the hat very well. So in this aspect... I think you're about to put your crown on your antlers, man. And you're about to take the elk energy, which is standing up, leadership, loud and proud with your antlers, baby. I mean, you're about to wear it well. Um, I heard you're about to be a leader to many, basically a shit ton of people. Now, I feel that could be in a business aspect, if you own your own business or you co-own a business. Or it could be out in the 3D in a leadership position, like a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, that applies and resonates in one's life. Or it could be dual. Maybe you own your own business and you work out in the 3D. Um, or you get offered a job out in the 3D. Or 
you get offered a leadership position or your business starts flourishing um, in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, you're about to affect a lot of people, whether it's out in the 3D or a internet business or businesses or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in a very positive way. Um, wearing your elk energy in a very regal way. Wearing your crown on your antlers, baby. Just saying. This is beautiful, man. You go with your badass self. Whoever you are. I said that in a very loving way, by the way. Sorry. I said that kind of like. I mean it in a very loving way. Sanctuary. Number 26 could be very significant. Number one's life. Number 26. M J B K M J B K is what I just heard. M J B K. You plug it in how it resonates. M J B and K. So M is in um, mongoose. J is in jack o' lantern. B is in badminton. K is in kite, M J B K. To me, that could be an initial of um, you, like your first initial, middle initial, or last initial, or a nickname initial, or it could be initial. Of, I don't think it's somebody you're connected to. Whoever this is, this is you. So I think it's an in initial of you, M J B or K. But you plug it in how it resonates. I feel it could be your first initial, middle initial, last initial, or nickname initial in some shape, form, or fashion, M J B K. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is beautiful. I feel that might be confirmations, possibly. The initials might be confirmations of maybe your first, middle, or last initial, or a nickname initial, possibly. Or some kind of significant initial in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. MJBK. Sanctuary. But whoever you are, you're highly creative. And, buddy, your creativity is just about to freaking go Bat shit crazy in a positive way. And your sacral chakra, your sexual sacral chakra, which is not just about sex, it's about creativity to emotions. Your emotions, your char chakra is about to, which that's not your heart chakra, but emotions are controlled in the sacral chakra too. So, you know, yes, your heart controls emotions too, but so does down there too. And that's just the truth um, part of it. And you know, sensitivity and um, um, sexuality and sensuality and things like that. I think that's about to increase. Uh, for some, I think you might have to, you might have a glow up soon. And for some, I think you're about to get amazing sex. And I'm just putting it out there. I'm serious. Dear God Almighty. That's wonderful. Someone is about to be so, so, so jealous. You are about to blow up in a very positive way. Blow up for the glow up. I heard blow up for the glow up. Whoa, man. You're about to blow up for the glow up. Whoever you are, you're about to blow up your glow up, baby. Blow up your hashtag glow up. That's freaking beautiful. You're about to blow up the glow up, man. Can't get any damn better than that. Um, and I've heard many people are about to be jealous. Um, so you're about to have jealous haters. You're about to have some hateration. I'm just being for real, for real. You're about to have some hateration, man. But, you know, anytime anybody has glow ups or something positive happens to them, there's usually always at least one hater. And that's just true. Sometimes you've got a damn army of haters or a community of haters or what have you, depending on how popular or um, glowing up you are. But how that resonates, you're about to blow up, blow up. Um, so you're about to blow it up in a very positive way with your hashtag blow up self, whoever you are and how that resonates, sir, ma'am. You go with your badass self. And it's about to make a bunch of, you're about to have a lot of haters. But, I mean, come on, you guys. I'm sure most of you guys, you're highly intuitive, you know this. You're going to have haters, man. You're just going to have haters when um, you're doing something positive in life. And that's just the damn truth. So they can just keep on hating. Haters can keep on hating. 
I think they're about to go in their sanctuary and think about maybe how they treated you in the past or um, maybe for some they're going to get depressed because you're, I mean, you're about to blow it up in a glow up kind of way, in a positive ass way. And for some, you're about to get some rocking sex. I'm just being real. Um, oh my God, I love it. But I think this is the energy of your haters. Haters about to get depressed um, because I think they have tried to beat you down or they did beat you down um, every step of the way to try to prevent this blow up. But it's about to happen. It is about to happen whether they wanted to or not. It's about to happen whether they wanted to or not is what I heard. Okay, so bitch is about to be jealous. Bitch is about to be jealous. You about to hashtag blow up, blow up, baby. And um, haters going to be hating. I mean, so they're going to be depressed. They might be laying around on the couch, moping around because you're about to blow up, blow up. And maybe they don't have anything going on or they, or they, or they um, thinking about how they treated you or blase, blase, blase. But honestly, you know, you can't. Yes, it's always good to be kind and compassionate to others, but you also have to learn how to set boundaries and move on. And and I'm serious. So, you know, yes, I'm sure you have memories of how these people treated you. But in my opinion, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. I think it's best just to move on. Blow up your glow up. Move on. And I mean, yeah, they're going to think about how they treated you. And yeah, they're going to be jelly in their jammies. But that is the choice they decided to make in the past, how they treated you, how they interacted with you, how they didn't help you, maybe for some. So, you know, that's the cross they have to bear. Um, is the way I look at it, you know. You go with your hashtag blow up the glow up. Just saying, just saying. I think I'm titling it hashtag blow up glow up. And I'm serious with your orange or aura self. Just saying. Love you guys. Namaste.